The RBA's Cup Day decision, the US election and Donald Trump and stocks of the future. I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Ricard. And, and we're, we're mad, mad about, about money. money. All right, let's start off the Reserve Bank, Paul. Did the newspapers leave with the headline, Australian economy looking good, forget rate cuts? I think I must have missed that this morning, <laughs> Peter. I didn't see the, the, the good news that the Reserve Bank said yesterday. I mean, I think the interesting thing about yesterday's statement, and a couple of uh, economists have written this up <clears> this morning, is that, look, maybe there's a bit of a change in tack in the RBA. The RBA is essentially saying, I think, that, look, inflation, we understand it's going to stay low, but <laughs> it may be close to bottoming, and therefore, you know, cash rates are on hold. And, yeah. And maybe that was the last rate cut in this cycle. Yep. What do you, what do you think? I, yeah, I, I, last rate cut unless there is some unusual external event like a Donald Trump presidency, something crazy out of Japan or something like that. But I think looking at the Australian economy, we're on the way up. Might not be as fast as people would like, but we're on the way up. And I don't think the Reserve Bank wants to cut anymore. They'd rather keep that 1.5% up their sleeve in case something external came along that shocked them. Particularly when yesterday we had uh, PMIs out of China, 51.2. Now, these are the uh, mm. forward-looking uh, gay, uh, guides to manufacturing. And remember when that used to rattle our market any yeah. reading below 50, and our market, BHP and Rio, would sell yeah. off 3 or 4% when it dipped below 50. Yeah. This is a really good number. Look where commodity prices are. Look at iron ore and, and copper and, and so linked. on. And they're linked in the coal price. And, mm. you know, you, got, you start to get a bit of a view that maybe the Australian economy is... Uh well, you always said it was doing better than the, the people have given it credit for, but yeah. maybe the rest of the community, or at least some of the economists, yeah. are coming around to that. The, particularly the RBA, that the economy is not so bad. Well, one of the best headlines last week was terms of trade best in five yeah. years. And there was terms of trade that drove us down, terms of trade bring us back out. OK, let's go to the US election. Today, the VIX, the fear index in the USA, which measures stock market fear, up 10%, really up 66% since it was levels 12, and now it's at 20. Paul... We, we kind of thought the market was going to be okay, but what, what changed it? Why were we well, slightly wrong? <laughs> I think we are a little wrong this time last week, I think, Peter. I think we'll just, I'll go for the more less than slightly <laughs> wrong. Uh, look, I mean, obviously the FBI thing has come out. I mean, I think America's just bored also with the whole thing. Mm. Look, well, I think you're right. I think the FBI yeah, yeah. thing changed the whole... Because Hillary was 12 points in front. Today, on one poll, she's behind. You've you got to be very careful these tracking polls. Yeah, they're, 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 they're tiny samples across such a huge and diverse right. electorate. And they swing around wildly. So, look, I mean, and again, so many Americans have already voted early. So, look, I think it all comes down to the swing states. I think the only thing interesting in the last few days is Donald Trump if you seems to be going to some of the tougher states. Now, mm. whether he's got some insight that, you know, he can take states like Pennsylvania, I don't know. Mm. Uh, but are look, these I, are swing states? These are swing tough? states, but have been firmly in the, uh, in the Clinton camp. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but look, let's see how it plays out. I think the market's going to stay nervous. What else can you do? I yeah. mean, the, you know, the, if you get a tracking poll that says that he's in front or, or an equal, which is mm. what this poll says, Markets and, and fund managers are going to look for insurance. Okay, market going down over the next week until the well, election. I look, I don't if she think, wins, there's a spike. Is I, don't there think, a spike? I don't think there's any reason. To, I don't think. I think people were very nervous about buying. So in that situation, you've got to expect maybe a bit of ups and downs and mm. perhaps a tendency down. If she wins and wins and doesn't take the Senate. Uh, you know, only wins, I think the market probably due for a little bit of rally, yeah. a relief rally. Well, I hope she wins, but as I always say, hope is not an investment strategy. Let's go to stocks of the future. D despite all that, even if he wins and the market sells off, there will be a buying opportunity. I don't think the whole world's going to fall apart. Well, I, I, I think you're looking at three things. I mean, first of all, I mean, with the Reserve Bank saying, you know, interest rates last year on hold here, maybe the next move somewhere down the track might be up rather than down. A little bit of a psyche change about whether, you know, the, the, the interest rate sensitive stocks. I don't think, look, they've, they've had a, a tough run, maybe a little bit of a bounce up, but look, there's still going to be a bit of selling pressure, I think, of things like property trusts, so just be wary of that. Yeah. Secondly, resources, you know, iron ore price, coal prices stay strong. I think the money is going to continue to flow into the, sort of the BHP and Rio's. Oil yep. price going the other way is a bit of a concern, but mm -hmm. let's see that out. And thirdly, yeah, banks should benefit from higher interest rates. And mm. the NAB report on uh, last week was OK. ANZ out tomorrow. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to see a bit more of that momentum swing back into resources and banks and away from some of the growth and interest rate sensitive stocks. So that says, Paul... In, in a, a down market. So if the top 20 stocks have a, a much better outlook, the overall index has a better outlook as well. For those people who play the ETF AS, ASX 200 type um, uh, stock, 
That's probably it, it, it does. It doesn't mean they won't go down with the market. I yeah. mean, if the market reopens this morning 30 points off, they'll all be off about yeah, the yeah, same yeah, percentage. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but look, I think th that's where the money is going to flow, and that's mm. what the fundies are doing, and, yeah. and I think that's where the momentum is moving in the short term. Okay. Well, I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. And we're mad, mad about, about money. money.